Hey guys, welcome back to, to another video and today we are going to learn how to convert the old 8mm videotape into a digital format. Now two episodes ago I spoke about how videotapes like this would start to lose its quality, degrade and you will have mold in it. Um, the longer you keep it and you don't convert and, or do anything to it, you will definitely lose this, the footage and the video in it. So in order to preserve your old video memories, it's good to convert it into a format that is readable and to be stored in a hard drive. Now the first thing you need to do is to get yourself a video player that is able to play back the tape. And if your dad's video camera or your grandpa's video camera is either not working or you just don't have it after so long, it is best that you can buy one on your local Facebook page, second store, or if you really have to, you can get some on eBay for about $100 to $250. A really important bit is that you need to find out what format your video tape has been recorded in. So the 8mm video cassette can be recorded in both a digital format and also an analog format. The digital format is a lot recent, it's a lot newer. So if you were to play an analog tape in a digital video camera, it you can record and you can play back just fine. If you were to use a digitally recorded tape on a analog 8mm video camera, it will not ring and you just get a blank screen. Now the next thing you need to do is to get yourself a uh, RCA cable. So the really old cables come in yellow, red and white color. But if you buy the modern version, these are gold plated ones. Now the reason why you get yourself one of these um, gold plated uh, cables is that it helps to block off electrical interferences so when cording your videos into your laptop you would be able to cut off a lot of the hum bus uh, bus noises so do really get yourself uh, the gold plated cables do not get yourself the standard cheap RCA cable so you would need to get yourself one of these converters these are plug and play converters and they're very cheap if you are living in Asia, Malaysia, Philippines you can get one of these for about 20 ringgit which is about 5 US dollars not all video cameras come with uh, a yellow, red and white output because some, are, some of the video cameras are really really old so they don't have stereo audio out, they have mono audio so they only have one jack to push out the audio uh, and if it's mono, you, you don't really have to worry about the extra um, audio input. So if I was to use green and connect it to the yellow, so yellow is always a, for video, make sure that the other end of the cable, over here, the green color one sits with the yellow input. And whichever color you go for the audio, over here, let's say if I use red, Make sure that the red goes in either red or yellow, or red or white. It does not matter if it's a mono output. It does not matter if you have one loose output. It's fine. The last thing we need to do is just to con it's just to plug this into your laptop, and this input is both readable by both Mac and PC. And let's go there. So the first thing you want to do would be to go into obsproject.com and download OBS Studio depending on what your operating system is and download the file and install it. And once you're done with that, you would go straight to OBS Studio. Now I have my own settings here for my own uh, projects and you want to create your own new scene. So each scene, you can name it, whatever name you want to call it. Let's call this Convert Tapes, okay? convert tapes and the first thing you want to do will be to put in the uh, inputs of your video and audio and we'll go to video capture device and let's call this uh, 8mm video and you select USB 2.0 PC camera and this is what the video file is gonna look uh, look like. It's blue right now because there are no playbacks happening on the video camera. And you can only find this if you have plugged in your video converter, okay? And the next thing you wanna do is if you can't record your and convert your tape without both video and audio, so we're gonna also include the audio input 
and let's call this 8mm audio and click OK and select microphone 2.0 and now you can see that okay just to let you guys know that what you see on the left is the preview screen what you see on the right is what is going to be recorded into your video and this fade is the transition so let's just transition it over here okay now the, now before we, we actually start recording the video and convert it it is not the same size it's not the actual size that we want you press settings and go down to video and this is the resolution in which you're going to record your video in if you want to stretch out your 8 millimeter video to high definition you can you can put it to 1080p or if you want to put it to uh, 1280 by 720 that's fine as well it, it depends on you um, because the 8 millimeter video the resolution is really really small so um, there's not much you can actually do to enlarge it but yeah it's really up to you so once you have done that you want to make sure that you fill this up uh, fill out most of the frame um, what happens is that if you put it in the middle you will have two black bars but if you want to go with the native resolution you would have to change it to about 720 by 576 this is for PAL standard definition so you can get rid of those lines because it is not widescreen it is a square resolution format so resize this All right resize your video resize this so now we have a little bit of a widescreen black bar and click fade to fade off to this side now before we record very importantly you will also want to set your uh, where is it output under bit rate under recording okay this is where your video file will end up I, I normally just set the desktop and I'll copy it to the, to the folder and put it later but this is where you can set where your recorded videos will end up in uh, I always put MPEG4 and if you have NVIDIA NVENC um, do use it I think it's really good uh, in terms of bit rate you don't really have to use anything that's too high because it is a standard definition video that you're recording anyway um, if you're recording really high quality gameplay footage and not put it at 20,000 but for this you can just put it at 3005 that's fine and once you're ready hit the play button um, hit the play button on your on your video camera once you've rewinded the oh, the tape and press play and once it starts playing you get to see the video footage playing on the right side and just press start recording and this will start recording the video footage um, from the camera and you can start and stop anytime and whenever you stop it will generate a uh, video file on your desktop so that's just pretty much it on how to convert your video tape very simple if you are using a Mac, you don't have to use the OBS, you could use QuickTime by itself and it would be able to record just as good. Uh, the reason why I chose OBS is because you uh, OBS is available for all operating systems so it's easier to just learn one and um, adapt it to the rest. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video tutorial so far and if you guys have any other suggestions to let me know, do let me know down in the comment section below and I'll see you guys again in the next video.